so I've made a series of like little zines and mini publications, um, which I never, I only released one of them officially. No, I've released two of them. So like, here's the first edition called Bloody Kisses. And they're usually about kind of, it's like artwork that helps me um, work through what I'm going through. Um, and um, well, I can't even show the pictures of this because it's not safe for work. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, one of them is titled Bloody Kisses Number Two Confessionals. This is an executioner's hood um, because I felt so worthy of contempt, shame, disgust that I felt like if I confessed what I felt about things, I'd be worthy of execution. Um, like, <laughs> yeah, no, people are like, Susanna, what do you, what do you mean you have hangups? Like, you want to talk about hangups? <laughs> um, yeah, I, um, I feel like I should read a little bit of it because I don't, I feel like people don't understand like how deep this cuts mm. for people who struggle with stuff like this. And I know there are people watching who struggle like to the bone, to the white meat with this and people, they don't understand. Um, yeah, and it, God, I, I mean, I so I wrote this when I was 20, and it's, um, it's just, it's just heartbreaking, you know, um, what I felt about myself, you know, um, oh my, this is a good question, actually, atheists are probably, Suzanne, did your parents ever make marriage a priority for you once you've reached adulthood? Certainly, I mean, of course, I was taught that, um, sex is only for marriage, um, you're supposed to save yourself for marriage, um, that, sex is procreative um that's what god's perfect plan was is um that um abortion is immoral it's wrong um they didn't have as much of a contraceptive hang up because i think they're just like pragmatic um but the catholic church teaches that contraception inherently um is um mankind's meddling in god's perfection um and um you want to read what you wrote in there and also maybe is it possible to describe what the images in there are without showing it um be careful with youtube though well not with number one because <laughs> it's okay. not really as relevant you've seen that though yeah um uh yeah so this is no pressure, by the way. You don't have to read it. Well, I'll know. read what I think is relevant. Um, because it's just so clear how much religious influence it just it's screaming off the page. Mm -hmm. Maybe just to me, <laughs> um, me I, the Catholicism is screaming off the page. <laughs> and what? Uh, how many years ago was this? um four almost five years ago right and how old are you now i'm almost 25. all right all right go on my birthday is soon uh uh i know i need to add that to your calendar because <laughs> you're not gonna remember <laughs> um uh yeah so if there are any uh, other ex-catholics out there comment below if this brings up anything for you <laughs> um because it's just oh my god i feel driven to make these confessions simply in my mind these thoughts are too burdensome wait wait so much weight worry worry excessive worry um oh, the confessional oh i'm getting a flashback right now <laughs> um, Perhaps if I expose myself for the fraud, the mediocre fool, the pervert that I am, perhaps this shame will be lifted, plagued, 
compelled to confess like the recovering ex-Catholic I am. Perhaps my confessions will be cause for my execution. They see me and they know. They recognize you from the mistake that you made. The time that you felt your anxiety showed through your eyes the whole time. The time you didn't make eye contact the right way. Um, effing fool, you should have known better. You should have known not to get your hopes up. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Um, confessions that feel like self-flagnation. F- flagellation. Confess, confess, to con- com- compulse to reveal my deviant behavior. Please cleanse me. Wash away this burden of shame and self-loathing. Loathing because I desire. Loathing because I seek reciprocated love and find myself hurt and alone instead. What a effing fool I am. I have so much love to give. I look for it in any outlet to express it. Effing fool. Effing slut shame i want to give of myself i have these moments of tenderness possible within me and they are sacraments um da, 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 that's too personal <laughs> um whore lonely fool drunk in the crowd um look at you in front of everyone acting a fool emotions so obvious the whole room must know where my heart lies and again i'm here alone sobering up and so sad um because i know the casual sex would be devastating to my shame slash anxiety complex as well as my sense of self um i must search for intimacy and genuine appreciation elsewhere why do I scare others so much? Why is my desire to be tender drive him away? Is it because it feels too good? Is it because you might like it? Or no, is it scary how much you might like it? Um, and then I had a picture of, um, yeah, wait. My love is a sacrament. I do not take affection for granted. I participate fully in the visible rite of love each time it is presented to me consciously honoring the intrinsic holiness that resides within my partner let me cherish you um and then i have a very spiteful letter that i wrote (laughs) um and um i also had in here several excerpts of um from my psychology textbooks um, that explain the psychological dynamics of shame and social anxiety. So um, one of them is, this is from Raising a Moral Child. This is one of my textbooks. Um, Shame is the feeling that I am a bad person, whereas guilt is the feeling that I have done a bad thing. Shame is a negative judgment about the core self, which is devastating. Shame makes a child feel small and worthless, and they respond either by lashing out at the target or the situation altogether. In contrast, guilt is a negative judgment upon an action which can be repaired by good behavior. Um, And um, basically it goes into how um, we want our children to care about others. If we want our children to care about others, we need to teach them to feel guilt rather than shame when they misbehave. In a review of research upon emotions and moral development, the psychology the psychologist Nancy Eisenberg suggests that shame emerges when parents expect anger, withdraw their love, or try to assert their power through threat of punishment. Children may begin to believe that they are bad people. Um, yeah, so um, a lot of what I studied in my major helped me understand um, psychologically the patterns that had affected me um because um it was more than just like oh this behavior is bad it's like i'm bad um and i still sometimes feel that way but not as often 